Hi everybody, welcome back to Sunshine Soap and Candle Company. Today I'm gonna to be sharing with you how to make a goat milk body lotion. This is number three in a four part formula series using goat milk. If you haven't had a chance to check out my other two goat milk videos, they were just published, a goat milk facial cream and a goat milk liquid bubble bath. In today's video, I'm gonna be going over with you my step-by-step -step process and tutorial of how to put together this beautiful goat milk body lotion. Goat milk is great for its skin soothing and skin softening properties. It's also full of alpha hydroxy acids, which helps to gently exfoliate your skin, leaving you with a beautiful, youthful, and dewy glow. If you would like the full written recipe plus a full written detailed step-by-step -step tutorial including percentages please head on over to my patreon campaign where you can unlock this formula for just a five dollar pledge not only can you unlock this formula but you can unlock the other goat milk formulas and three and a half years of archive recipes all for the same five dollar pledge there really is a ton to take advantage of over there. There are also four other tiers for you to take a look at and take advantage of if you like, each with their own unique benefits. We offer things like live quarterly classes, live hangouts, monthly gift packages, and coupon codes to my favorite suppliers. I'm gonna go ahead and place the link in the description box below for you. I really hope that you'll check it out. All right, let's make some beautiful goat milk lotion. All right, before we get started, it's important to note that we are making a cosmetic type formula so it is super important that your workstation is very clean and everything is wiped down with a 5% bleach and water solution that includes all the tools and equipment that are going to come into contact with your raw materials and also including the containers that are going to hold your finished product. This tutorial and video and formula is very similar to my basic lotion making tutorial. I think that I published in 2020 or 2019. I'll try to put a link to it in the description box for you. It's been a very popular formula because it's an easy beginner friendly formula to put together, but it feels super luxurious and it'll make you want to use this lotion, your handmade lotion over any other store-bought lotion. However, I still consider it a, a beginner friendly and kind of a basic recipe, even though it feels super luxurious. So I think that's why that other one has been so popular and I really, really like the skin feel of that one. So this one is sort of like that video. There are additional ingredients to this one. Obviously it's a goat milk lotion, but in that it's pretty basic and easy to find the ingredients and an easy to put together cream that won't give you any problems, um, you're gonna really, really like it. So. Like all formulas, we have a water phase, an oil phase, and a cool down phase, like any lotion formula, I should say. But the first thing we're gonna do is go ahead and prepare our goat milk for this batch. Now I'm making a rather big batch here because I'm gonna be putting these on my website. I really am in love with this formula. And again, you can take the recipe if you like and just, you can enhance it and make it even more decadent. Um, however, I really am just liking the simplicity of this formula. So the first thing we're going to do is go ahead and weigh off some full cream goat milk powder. This came from Lotion Crafter and on Lotion Crafter, you guys might have some questions regarding adding goat milk into a lotion type emulsified product. Um, lotion Crafter has directions right on their website about how to put together a lotion using goat milk powder. All right. The next thing we're gonna do is go ahead and add in some glycerin. Now I find it much easier to disperse the goat milk powder into some glycerin first before you add in your water. If you add your water straight to the goat milk powder, it is gonna clump up. It's not the end of the world, but it's definitely much easier to get this totally dispersed before you put the water into it. You wanna disperse it into your glycerin. Glycerin is also gonna act as our humectant for this formula. And therefore it's gonna to help to draw moisture to your skin as well. And I actually love the rate that I'm using it in this formula, it just, it's perfect. It's not sticky or tacky or heavy feeling. Okay. 
Okay, so once your glycerin is poured over the top, you want to get some sort of stirring utensil. I'm just using this glass stir stirring rod. Um, and you're just going to mix your glycerin and your goat milk powder together to create just sort of a smooth, homogeneous formula. We're just looking to disperse the goat milk powder. A whisk might be a good idea here. I just don't have a bigger whisk handy, but a whisk might be a good idea here to help break up any clumps, but that's all we're doing. We're just breaking up the clumps and making this a smooth formula. All right. So the next thing we're gonna do is go ahead and weigh off the water for this formula. We're gonna be using some distilled water. You wanna make sure it's distilled that you're not adding any heavy metals on accident to your formula. Now this water has already been weighed off for this formula, so all I'm gonna do is pour my water over the glycerin and goat milk slurry. And then I'm gonna give this a good stir, and all I'm doing is incorporating my goat milk powder and glycerin now into the water and we're getting this nice white milky looking formula. I'm gonna go ahead and grab my spatula next so that I can just make sure I'm scraping up anything that might be stuck to the bottom. But as you can see, there's no clumps of, of goat milk powder. It's all been distributed. So it's just a much, much easier way to get your goat milk in here. All right, now the next thing we're gonna do is go ahead and weigh off the oil phase. So this is it for the water phase, pretty simple. Goat milk powder, glycerin, and water. And then we're gonna go ahead and set this aside. Now the goat milk in this formula does really help to soften your skin, at least in my usage of it. I find that it helps your skin um, stay very hydrated and soft feeling. So that's why people really like goat's milk in their formulas. Okay, so for the oil phase, we're gonna go ahead and weigh off some sunflower oil first. Sunflower oil is a nice lightweight oil packed with vitamins and nutrients. It feels really emollient on your skin. So it's just a nice economical oil to use in a, in a body lotion. And it's high in linoleic acid as well. So we're gonna go ahead and add in our sunflower oil. Okay. To the sunflower oil, we're gonna be adding in some beautiful shea butter. Shea butter has to be one of my favorite butters to use in creams and lotions because it spreads easily, it's packed full of moisture, it's hydrating. It's anti-aging. I'm using refined shea butter here. You could use unrefined if you like. Unrefined shea butter has a nutty smell to it, uh, which is not a bad thing, but for your fragrance purposes, if you're using a shea butter that's unrefined, you might wanna choose a fragrance that complements that nutty smell like maybe a hazelnut or chocolate or vanilla. In this case, we're not gonna be using a fragrance like that. So I wanted to use refined because it doesn't have a smell. Okay. Next up, we're gonna be adding in some emulsifying wax. Now the emulsifying wax here, this is what makes the lotion the lotion. If you don't have emulsifying wax, your oils and your waters, your liquids, will not combine. Think about salad dressing. Um, a salad dressing, like a vinaigrette that separates, the same thing will happen to your lotions or creams if you don't use an emulsifier. We're just using a regular generic emulsifying wax, NF. Um, I find this is a great emulsifier for an all over 
body lotion or cream. I never have any problems achieving an emulsification with this formula and it's very stable and it feels really good on your skin. Okay. Next up, we're gonna be adding in some stearic acid. Stearic acid is gonna help thicken up this recipe and it's also going to add some conditioning properties to your formula. It's gonna thicken it up to a nice lotion-like consistency. All right, and that's it for our oil phase. So what I'm gonna do is go ahead and melt down my two phases, my oil phase. I'm gonna warm up my water phase and melt down my oil phase. And then I will bring you back when we're ready for the next step. Okay, so my water and oil phases are thoroughly warmed up and melted down. We're sitting at about 180 degrees Fahrenheit on both oils and water. So it's time to go ahead and combine the two phases together to create our lotion. So we're gonna go ahead and pour the water phase into the oil phase. And as you can see, it already starts to emulsify. It's kind of hard to tell because the formula is already white from the goat milk, but the emulsifying wax turns it into a beautiful, creamy looking white color. And then we're gonna go ahead and emulsify or stick blend this for about two minutes on low speed. All right, so we have blended this now for about two full minutes. And as you can see, it's still very, very thin because we're still sitting at a high temperature here of about 150 degrees. We are low enough though to go ahead and move on to the next phase, which is to weigh off our cool down ingredients. So that's just gonna include our fragrance and our preservative. So I'm gonna go ahead and put this on the scale and we're gonna weigh off the fragrance oil first. And I'll show you what we are using here. We're gonna go ahead and use some oatmeal, milk, and honey from Nature's Garden. And we're gonna mix that with some lemon sugar fragrance oil, also from Nature's Garden. Let me go ahead and show you what that looks like. This is a beautiful combination. In my test batches of this formula, I have used also the oatmeal, milk, and honey um, mixed with some lavender essential oil, and that's also a very beautiful combination. So we're gonna go ahead and add in the oatmeal, milk, and honey. Okay. And then next up, we're gonna add in the lemon sugar. This is my favorite, favorite lemon fragrance. And it is now phthalate free. I just checked again on the Nature's Garden website, which makes me very excited. I love that. So what I'm gonna do before I add in my preservative is just get this another stick blend and make sure we combine that. That is such a lovely blend. I love these two fragrances together. All right. And now we are able to go ahead and add in our preservative and we're adding in some oatmeal milk and honey. I'm sorry, we're adding in some Optifin preservative. We're using Optifin 176 degrees 
It's great for lotions. You can add it in at temperatures of 176 degrees or below or below 176 degrees. Okay, and in goes the Optifin. And then we're gonna go ahead and give this another blend with the stick blender. Okay, so this is still very watery because it's very warm and I know in my last video uh, with the facial lotion I told you I prefer to put the cream into the container finished containers when it has set up so that I know I have a stable emulsion today I'm going to show you what it looks like to pour into bottles while it's still warm because I want to use my Boston round containers for this and I know that this one won't give me any problems with emulsion, um, with staying stable. So I will, I'm going to let this cool down just a little bit more and then I'll bring you back when we're ready to pour it into the containers. Okay, so it has cooled down just a little bit. Again, still very watery thin, but don't worry, it's going to turn out fine. I'll show you the end result. This is just an easier way. It's much, much easier to pour it into this type of bottle when your formula is thin like this. The end result is not a thin formula, uh, but it's not a super, super thick formula either. And it kind of feels light and fluffy on the skin. So I'm just pouring into these eight ounce Boston Round containers. Uh, they are eight ounce, however, they do hold 10 ounces of fluid. So the fluid ounces are 10. And I'm just filling it all the way up. like using a Pyrex here because I can get closer down to the opening of the lotion bottle. Even though it doesn't hold a lot of cream in it, I can get it right down into the opening and then that way I don't have any spillage. So that filled up 10 8 ounce PET containers and actually didn't have enough left over to fill up 
an 11th one. So I just poured the extra into this little tub here and this will go ahead and be my little personal batch of cream. And of course it's still very liquidy so I'll bring you back when everything is set up and I can give you a little bit of a use demo. I'm also going to leave the caps off of all of these until everything cools way down so we don't get any condensation. All right, so these lotions have been setting up now for a few days and I wanted to go ahead and give you an idea of the final consistency and show you how it works. I just love the color of these. Turned out really beautiful, kind of glossy white. And this is my personal little batch here, but I've been using it. But as you can see, it's fairly thick. It's not gonna come out of the container, um, but it's not a super thick lotion or cream. It comes out of these bottles really nicely. Um, it's got that nice kind of glossy finish to it, but it's lightweight enough that it absorbs into your skin pretty quickly and it doesn't feel greasy or anything like that, but it's not so thin that if you put it in a package like this, you wouldn't have any problems shipping it. So anyway, go ahead and just apply that. It feels super good. Feels great on the hands and it absorbs quickly. Really, really just a good kind of simple body lotion, but super effective with a great kind of medium weight consistency. And there you go, everybody. That's how you make a beautiful goat milk lotion. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please remember to give it a thumbs up. Leave comments or questions below. Subscribe to my channel and share this video with a friend. All right, everybody. Catch you on the next video. Bye. Keep shining.